Masking is a pro show producer feature that gives you access to some of the best effects you can create, allowing you to combine your images and or videos together to create visual arrangements that are impossible otherwise. There are two kinds of masks in producer that you can work with, grayscale and transparency. Grayscale masking works by masking out an image depending on the values of light and dark in the mask. Light reveals while dark conceals is the fundamental rule when working with grayscale masking. Any image can work as a grayscale mask, but the best option is to use images or videos that contain high contrast between light and dark areas. Gradients are also great to use, especially for blending images, which we'll take a look at later in this video. Transparency masking is similar to grayscale in the sense that it is used to control what you see and what you don't, but they do it in a much more straightforward way. The only thing that a transparency mask is concerned with is where the mask is located. It'll show what's underneath and it will hide everything else. Black and white stenciled shapes or images with transparent regions are best used with this type of mask. Let's walk through an example of how to use a grayscale mask in ProShow Producer. As you can see in this effect, it shows two images seamlessly blending into each other, which is a perfect reason to use a grayscale mask. Let's start by creating a new slide with two image layers. You can do this by holding the control key down while selecting two images from the file list. And then, while still holding down the control key, drag and drop the images into a slide in the slide list. Now, let's change the slide time to five seconds and then open slide options by double left clicking on the slide. In slide options, select the first image layer and position it so it takes up the left hand side of the preview. Depending on the size of your image, you may need to zoom in or out a little. Now, click the other layer and position it on the right side. Right now, if I preview the slide, all I see is the top layer because it's blocking out the bottom layer. This is where masking comes in. We want to apply a mask to the top layer so the bottom layer can also be seen. To accomplish this, we're going to left click on the top layer and then the add icon in the layers list. Then hover over add masking layer and then select add gradient. Remember, light reveals and dark conceals, so we're going to use a gradient that will blend from light to dark. The dark area of the grayscale mask will be where the bottom layer can show through. Let's click the drop down for the presets and select masks. The top left option should work well for this example. We can further refine the gradient by clicking and dragging these icons towards the middle. We can also adjust the angle to 360 degrees for a perfect left to right blend. After you're satisfied with your changes, click OK. Now that we have applied the mask, we can visually see what will be revealed and what will be concealed. Here on the left, where the mask is lighter, you can see more of the top layer. On the right, where the mask is darker, the top layer is hidden, allowing us to see the bottom layer. Let's preview the effect. Because we chose a gradient, the two layers will blend nicely. Now we can add a little motion to polish everything up. Let's click the Effects tab at the top. I'm going to make sure Layer 2 is selected, and then click the next keyframe to add a little zoom and pan. Now, I'm going to select layer 3 and do the same thing. After I'm happy with my motion, I'm going to take a look at the finished effect. Everything looks great. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to check out more of our video tutorials on our website or blog at kb.photodex.com.